Uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Kevin, and I'm a data scientist at Urban's. Um, at Urban, our mission is to help utilities and infrastructure operators to make our communities safer and more resilient. So today I'm going to be talking about consequence risk scoring for excavation damages. In a city like ours, there are hundreds and thousands of gas pipes underneath us, and these valuable assets is what makes taking a warm shower after a long, cold day possible but also present a tremendous amount of risk to us in the event of an excavation damage. And in New York City, every day there's about 500 excavations all happening all around the city. And some of these excavations range from a homeowner digging a small pool in their backyard to laying the foundations of the next uh, skyscraper. So the unfortunate reality is that Every year, not only do excavation damages cost utilities millions and millions of dollars, but countless lives are lost because of this. So this proposes an immense challenge for city officials and gas utilities to be able to identify hotspots of vulnerable population and critical infrastructures to proactively prevent excavation damages. So the, oh, sorry, not to use this. Uh, the city that we're looking at today is a city that everyone's familiar with, a romantic tourist destination, Paris, the city of light. Now this year, Paris has faced an unprecedented, unprecedented amount of excavation volume. By the end of the summer, there has been more than 8,000 excavation projects. The, having the immediate visibility into high-risk excavations is crucial. So we, when we think about consequence scoring, we think in terms of risk layers. A risk layer is defined as a place or object that when damaged can result to loss of life as well as uh, severely jeopardize the city's ability to operate and um, respond to emergency events. Things like gas pipes, major trans transportation hubs, police stations, fire stations, and difficult to evacuate locations like schools and hospitals. So what we did was we took a sample of all the possible risk layers and we loaded them into our maps we create a buffer around the um, geometry, and this buffer size is based on uh, domain knowledge, and then we assign a weight to the risk layer. Now, get more into the weights later. So here, we loaded a, the high pressure mains, uh, the medium pressure mains, major transit hubs, um, top 10% of most densely populated census block groups, as well as the high points of interest. Now, any decision maker looking at these in their map is going to be overwhelmed by the tremendous amount of visual information. So how do we resolve this? I'm sure um, people in the data science world are familiar with the term dimensionality reduction. And so the purpose of this project is to reduce the many channels of information into a single layer source of truth and translate visual risk into measurable and quantifiable risks. So we do this by creating a grid of hexagons within the city's limits. Um, the reason we chose hexagons is because of their beautiful property of having equidistant neighbors. And we chose a side length of 100 meters, big enough so there's not too many polygons, and small enough so to be manageable from a resource perspective. We then assign a risk score to each of the cells. And to do so, because we've buffered all our risk layers, now their geometries are polygons, we can spatially join every layer to our cells in the grid and capture the total area of well, the area of intersection. We then assign a score as a linear combination of the area of its intersection and the weights that we defined earlier. So I'm not sure if I can play this video. Um, but the idea here is that instead of looking at all of these uh, different layers of um, visual information, you now have just one consequence grid. And then the decision maker can select the top 10% or even top 1% to manage. It's supposed to look like a grid of hexagon cells, but it seems like not rendering here. Uh, after having created our grid, we can then overlay all of the major construction projects in Paris in 2019. And let's look at an example. So this place is the Nation. And the Nation was notoriously known for the, having the highest number of active guillotines back in the French Revolution, a very dangerous place. Today, it serves as a roundabout for all sorts of traffic, like cars, uh, bikes and pedestrians. In the summer, it underwent a major construction project to add more bike lanes and pedestrian lanes and even new subway entrances. So let's apply our analysis to this location. Here is the Nation. 
and we've known that it's a major transit hub. It also has a high pressure main underneath it, as well as a medium pressure main. So applying our grid, as you can see here, our system was able to identify the high uh, pressure main as having the top 1% of risk, whereas the medium pressure main having the top 10%. So a decision maker can then overlay the extent of the excavation and assign more resources to monitor the left side of the roundabout compared to the right. Now, having these, this sort of analysis tool will allow city officials and utilities of Paris to preemptively identify excavation risks and take measures before anything bad happens. So, the Nissan was a very dangerous place and risky place in the past. Today, because of the underground infrastructures, it is still very risky, just in a non-head rolling way. Uh, there's no demo, but thank you everyone.